Now, in my last video, I talked about an article which was in this March edition of the Registered Gas Engineer magazine, which was about Technical Bulletin 118A. Now, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit concerning the comments I got on that video. It seems that there's a lot of gas engineers out there who don't really care about their own safety. Now this technical bulletin which has been produced is for your safety, not a hindrance. And as you've seen from the video, hopefully it doesn't take that long to do the safety touch test. And when you're going into the PCB, uh, the openings of the electrics, you do your safe isolation. So when you're taking a boiler out or you're replacing a PCB, you need to do the safe isolation test. They're for your safety, not to make your day go four hours longer or hinder you in any way. It's so you go home safely. So that's what that technical bulletin's about. If you haven't seen the video, I will leave a link in the description below. Now, I did say in that video, I was going to show you about the lock-off kits and this is what this video is about. So I've gone and bought this off eBay. This is a Liederman lock-off kit and it cost about 30 quid on eBay. So let's get it open and see exactly what I've bought. So first of all you get a nice little case and you can put it through your belt loop so you've already always got it. So we always like things in little cases don't we? So it's a bag within a bag so you get this nice little pouch. So let's get this open. So first of all I can see there's a screwdriver. So in the little bag we get a screwdriver Okay, we get a marker pen and the marker pen is for writing on the sheets. What's this? Instructions. So this is basically giving you the instructions on how to set the code on the little padlock and it's set to 000 when you get it. We get this little thing, do not remove. We get a padlock with numbers on them. So a combination padlock. We get this little plastic thing here. We've got this little aluminium thing here. And in this other box here, we've got another padlock with a key this time. So you get two keys, quite a substantial key, I may say, and a, a padlock where it says lockout on it, and you can put your company name on the back. So that's what I've got in this little set for £30. So let's get on with it and find out exactly how we use all these different lock-off devices. Now the first one I'm going to show you is how to isolate your fuse spur. Now this fuse spur is feeding this boiler behind me here, which is a bit remote from where this fuse spur is. You've got your back to it, so somebody could accidentally turn it on. Now what we're going to need is, well you could use a screwdriver, so we might need that. We're going to need the pen to write on the label and we're also going to need the warning label. Now this isn't in the pack but I'm going to leave it in the pack. But you could actually use a cable tie, this is just a little, little hooky thing. <laughs> also what's not in the pack which I'm going to leave in it is this thing for flicking out fuses. So isolate the fuse spur, flick out the fuse holder. Remove the fuse. What you've got to do is you've got to keep the fuse in your pocket. Now all you've got to do now is just hook on the label over the fuse spur to stop somebody turning it back on. Now you don't need to lock it off because you've got the fuse in your pocket and there isn't a lock off kit 
in for the few spur. But putting a label on it to show that not to operate it is the right thing to do. So with the fuse in my pocket and the label on there, hopefully nobody's going to turn it on. Now some fuse spurs have this little screw holding the fuse holder in. So isolate the fuse spur and then we can undo the screw. Take out the fuse holder and then stick on our label with some tape. We need to retain this in our pocket so nobody can put it back. Now there are some fuse holders with a little hole in the centre so we can take our little padlock, little combination padlock and our sign, put it on and then that is safely locked off. Now that's safely isolating fuse spurs, so what about isolating the consumer units, so the MCBs and the RCDs? So let's have a look at these things and we'll start off with this. Now let's look how this device works. So basically when I push this in, you can see these two little prongs at the end go inwards. So what we need to do is isolate the circuit. And I don't know if you can see it here, but there is like a little slot here. So we push the prongs in, into one side of the slot, and then into the other one. And that's now locked off. We then get our padlock, undo it, put on the label, and then it goes through the hole. And that is now locked off. Now, when we're locking off these little isolators, these little MCBs, we can use this one, but this one will actually fit as well. I'm gonna show you using this one first. So first of all, again, we need to isolate the supply. Then if you can see in there, there is a little screw. So this is where your screwdriver comes in. So all we need to do now is Screw down the grub screw. Bottoms out. And now you can see that can't be lifted up. And again, we need our padlock and sign. Go through the hole. We can lock it off, remove the key. And that is now safely isolated. Now for these bigger MCBs, what you can see here, isolate the circuit you need. Again, this will slot on the top, this bigger yellow one. Again, screw in the grub screw. Again, put on our label and our lock. Remove the key. And that one is now isolated. So that's my little look at this locking off kit for technically electricians. But for us gas engineers, it's really, really important that we do this because it's in Technical Bulletin 118A. Now, hopefully you've seen it doesn't take that long to do. One thing to remember though is once you've isolated the supply and locked it off, you need to check that you have isolated the supply. That's the main thing. It just takes a few seconds to do, but hopefully doing these little things will help you go home to your family at the end of the day. Thanks for watching the video guys. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.